Hi there folks and welcome back to Airgun Reporter. For today's episode, I have a beautiful Plinkin rifle, the Walter Lever Action, which is a replica of the classic Winchester 1894. First, let's go over some specs and then we'll test her out. My first impression of the Walter lever action has to be the fit and finish of the rifle. From the gorgeous nickel finish on the rifled barrel and action, to the real wood stock and forearm, the Walter is a real beauty that is sure to impress air gunners and non-air gunners alike. The overall length is 39.2 inches and the rifle weighs in at just 6.2 pounds. It's light, quick to shoulder and aim, making it a real western styled 177 caliber replica. Inside the box you'll find the rifle, two rotary clips, the instruction manual and a set of tools. These tools include a key for removing the rubber butt pad, a wrench for tightening down the 88 gram cartridge and even a pellet seeder. The rifle has a manual cross bolt safety located by the hammer and just below that a lanyard ring that helps complete the western style. There's also a secondary safety mechanism on the lever action. When the lever is cocked forward, the trigger will not operate until the lever is brought back into the closed position, which presses a safety release button just behind the trigger. The front globe sight is adjustable for windage, while the rear sight is adjustable for elevation. To load an 88 gram CO2 cartridge, use the provided key and remove the butt plate. Insert a fresh cartridge and then use the wrench for making the last three-quarter turn to pierce the tip. The first version of the lever action used two 12-gram cartridges, so this is a welcomed improvement, increasing your shot count literally by hundreds. The lever action uses the same 177 caliber rotary clips that come with many Umarex action pistols. They're inexpensive and can be purchased separately should you misplace them. The clip chamber is cleverly hidden. Where you would load cartridges into an 1894 firearm is actually a release button that swings out the chamber. That red piece of plastic indicates if a rotary clip is loaded or not. When the chamber is loaded and closed, a small indicator tab protrudes from the surface of the action. If it's flush with the action, a clip is not loaded. Keep an eye on this feature for the sake of safe gun handling. For the Krani testing, I shot 8.2 grain RWS Meisterkugeln pellets at about an ambient temperature of 75 degrees. The results were a high of 583 feet per second, a low of 563, an average of 574, an extreme spread of 19.78 feet per second, and a standard deviation of 6.63 FPS. Okay, for the accuracy test, we're going to be using H&N Finale Match Rifle Pellets. And I'm going to use that little pellet seeder that came with the Falter Underlever, just to have some consistency. Now normally, you don't have to seat the pellets if you're just plinking outside or just having fun with the rifle. All right, we are shooting iron sights at 20 meters. Let's see how I do.
If you look closely, you'll see that I removed the globe on the front sight. This part easily slides off and improved my acquisition on such a small target 20 meters downrange. As you can see from this half inch group, it made quite a difference. Although the trigger on the vaulter lever action is non-adjustable, I found it crisp and easy to get used to after a few hours of practice. Five pulls on the trigger gauge gave me an average of four pounds, 6.7 ounces. Indoor sound pressure testing with the rifle about four feet from the meter and slightly off to the left, I got a maximum reading of 90.7 decibels. In my opinion, the lever action is indoor and backyard friendly. With an 88 gram CO2 cartridge power plant in the lever action, you can expect hundreds of shots before replacing it. When my friend Dylan and I built a moving target system for the American Air Gunner TV show, I can recall getting over 350 shots from a single cartridge. Folks, having shot the Valter lever action for a couple of years now, I must admit it's one of my favorites. When introducing friends and new shooters to air guns, more often than not, I find myself handing them this rifle. It's lightweight, easy to cock, and a real CO2 tack driver, sure to please the novice and the expert shooter alike. The only drawback I can honestly comment on is the rather large butt pad that makes it appear a bit out of proportion. However, since this was designed to accommodate the 88 gram CO2 cartridge, it's a drawback I'm willing to overlook. It's also on the pricey side of CO2 air guns, but given its German-made quality, I can see the lever action becoming the type of rifle that you can be proud to pass down to the next generation of air gunners among your friends and family. In fact, I can't wait until the weather warms up just a little bit here in the Catskill Mountains so I can take my Volta lever action out and do some plinking. My name is Paul Capello. Until next time, shoot safe and have fun. Please remember folks, air guns are not toys. Even the smallest calibers can cause serious harm if not used properly. And you should never, under any circumstance, point an air gun at another person. Parents, if you teach your children to shoot responsibly, they will have a lifetime of air gun enjoyment.